All right, so here it is, Civil War. I am actively annoyed right now. Alex Garland, you decided to write and direct a movie called Civil War, quite possibly the most potentially relevant movie of our time. The movie that's supposed to be like, if you thought Thanksgiving since 2016 has been awkward, this is your whole family should be torn apart. The whole country is torn apart. No one's on the same side. No one's safe. All the things that you can explore with the idea of a Civil War movie. So I am going to tear this to shreds because you had so much going for you. And you're Alex Garland, Alex Garland. All right, I, you are good at making post-apocalypse movies. It should have been way better to be like approaching the apocalypse or apocalyptic with this idea of a Civil War movie. From script to acting, half-baked, half-baked, half-baked. I don't think I've ever seen a movie that's this ambitious that is also this lazy simultaneously. You had such a big idea, the biggest idea. It's not hyperbolic to say, the biggest idea. I don't, again, our generation possibly for a movie. And you have decided to have just, again, half-baked script, half-baked performance, just from concept. The Western forces, and this bothered me even from the trailer, the Western forces? In what horse multiverse, be it not too distant or not, is Texas joining forces with California? Texas, California, post 2024. Who the f are you kidding? That's never going to happen. I just end, end. How about this? You don't tell us why it happened. I was racking my brain watching this movie going, did I skip? Did I not pay attention? No, no. We have no idea why this movie is happening. You're watching the movie and you're going, what is, why are they fighting? I think in a movie called Civil War, it might be important to know why people are fighting. Like, the f then you're doing this whole all right we're gonna follow journalists through the whole thing and it's the press and i to an extent okay there's some neutrality there which is interesting but then it doesn't pay off in any way and why by the way even if the press is neutral let's say this one crew of press that we're following kirsten dunce and company you're telling me that like all the journalists are on the same side? Like the, in the beginning, they're all in this hotel, a bunch of journalists. And like, they're all hanging out and shooting the shit. Like there's no Fox News versus New York Times, you know, NBC. What are you doing? How is none of that? And then it opens, again, lazy, bro. It is the laziest thing to open any movie with a newscast. It is just so obvious to do that. And yes, this movie is about press. But like, come up with another way. And then exposition, 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 exposition. And that's how it felt watching the movie. It is just like, why are they having this conversation? Oh, because you are you have to fill us in. And But it's not filling us in on what, all this bullshit exposition of journalists sitting around explaining. And like every moment that Alex Garland could get, he would just drop this annoying exposition bomb. Oh, the power went out. Oh, that's every night this week. That's been happening. How about just like, again? And then another character says, oh yeah, maybe that's like, instead it's just, that's the fifth time this week. The Western forces are doing this and doing that and they're moving in and here. Okay, again, why are they doing this? Why? And the president is supposed to seem like a bad guy. Why is he bad? What happened? Why is the U.S. president the back? And is he the back? Like, what the f***? Again, if you're trying to do this neutrality thing, then okay. But I still need to know at least what the fight was about. Why is the country being torn apart? At, this movie was so annoying. And there were so many scenes of downtime, downtime, downtime. Like they say in war, it is a lot like that. And you do get to explore those things, let's say in like The Sopranos or an entire series, Band of Brothers, The Pacific. You have a mini series of time where what I'm trying to get at is in war, they say it's like a lot of downtime punctuated with intense action. So it's like the guys sitting around at the bing, at the bada bing and Sopranos shooting the shit. But 
you know, end of the day, these are murderers and you're probably gonna see some killing in that episode. In war, it's a lot of sitting around in the foxhole and reflecting and this and that, punctuated with, you know, explosions, watching your friends get killed, like super dramatic, life-changing Um, Fine, but there's way too much reflection in this. What are we reflecting on? God, and it's like, I, and I mean, I'm talking straight up action, not like, why are we reflecting on the political and social issues that contributed to the civil war? Once again, didn't touch any of that, but why, like, let's reflect on some action. And there just was not a lot of action in this movie. If you don't want to do action in a movie called Civil War, then again, show me families being torn apart. Show me the press fighting itself. Show me conflicts within the White House. And again, I'm not going to give spoilers, but the end of this movie, it pissed me off. The logistics, and it's in the trailer, we get to DC, and it is such bullshit. There are some, I'll say it's pretty well shot, but then visually, I'll stop after this. It's in 4-3 which I think is a perfect analogy for this movie. Sounds kind of corny, but incomplete, cut short, you know, instead of widescreen, 4.3 is like just a box, like it's TV. My other 4.3 analogy, it really felt kind of like a TV movie. Not nearly good enough, even for HBO, I'd criticize it of like, this is a TV movie, not HBO, not modern day streaming, you know, HBO presentation or an Amazon original, Hulu original. I'm talking back in the day, kids, TV movies sucked. This movie doesn't quite suck, but man, is this a letdown. I was so excited for this movie. And I think I had realistic expectations. They marketed the shit out of it. Maybe I got too tricked by that, but like, I really thought this was gonna be good. And even for my super high expectations, I still think it was a letdown. Part of me wants to go back, but part of me doesn't wanna be bored. It was pretty boring. It's like, Again, a lot of downtime. And Alex Garland, just start shooting music videos. You seem way more interested in this. Oh, and I gotta say, I know I said I'd leave it off with the visuals, but I got I can't forget to mention this. This whole dissonance thing, you know, Alex Garland will play this music that's either upbeat or like super sad while action is happening. So it's like this dissonance of we're supposed to either feel cold like the journalists maybe toward the situation, like how f-ed up it is. You know, in horror movies, they'll play like upbeat music when really f-ed up things are happening, that kind of thing. Or really sad music when something, when action is happening. And it's just ways of trying to make you feel dissonance that did not pay off. And it's like, if you thought that was clever just because a civil war by definition, there's supposed to be dissonance between the different sides, not achieved. Achievement not unlocked. Uh, Three more passes of editing. Just edit the shit out of this thing. And I mean, even again, not even script level, concept level. From performance, once again, cheesy performances that felt outdated and almost 90s. Like these characters are so corny. Then when the characters who would die died, it was like some of them I didn't even friggin' care about, but I'm supposed to. And other characters like shocked. I'm like, I just met this guy five minutes ago and he's dead and I'm supposed to care this much but even down to the concept dude again western forces texas and california and then you don't even explain why at any point those two states would join it makes no f-ing sense and it never gets explained so it's like even if you had a bullshit explanation you didn't bother explaining it i don't know man i do not recommend civil war